Hello everyone, let's start with question number 3. So in this we need to prove that the following are irrationals and we need to prove the three parts under it. So the first part, the first part says 1 over under root 2. So in this again we need to prove that 1 over under root 2 is an irrational number. So again we need to use the same method that is we need to consider it as a rational number. So we have two numbers we need to write in the form of a over b. So in bracket you must write that a and b are co-prime numbers. So you must write that they are co-prime integers. Co-prime integers are those which have common factor as 1. So a and b are those numbers that have same uh, sorry have 1 as common factor. Now we need to write 1 over under root 2 as a over b. Now using cross multiplication or by rearranging we can write it as b over a so b over a on the left hand side and under root 2 over 1 as right hand side. Now you can clearly see that we have left hand side as a rational number and right hand right hand side as irrational number. So again this is a contradiction that rational number can't be equal to irrational number. So it is not possible which means our assumption is wrong. Therefore we need to write under root 2 is a rational number. So in the end write under root 2 is a irrational number. Now moving on to the second part. Second part is 7 under root 5. So 7 under root 5. Again we need to assume that 7 under root 5 is equal to rational number. So again you need to write we have 7 under root 5 equal and equal a over b. Now we need to use same method as we did earlier. That is we need to bring the number which is irrespective of under root. So we have 7. So we need to bring 7 to the right hand side. So we have under root 5 equal a over 7b. Now you can see that my left hand side is under root 5 that is rational and my right hand side is it sorry this is irrational and this is rational because it is in the form of p by q. So one is irrational and other is rational. Therefore, again we can say that our assumption is wrong. Our assumption is wrong. Our assumption is wrong here. Therefore, we can say that 7 under root 5 is irrational. So complete this. Now we have the third part. It says 6 plus under root 2. Now 6 plus under root 2 again can be written in the form of rational number. So it is a over b. Now you need to bring 6 to the left hand side. 6 to the right hand side. So it is under root 2 equals a over b minus 6. Now we need to take LCM at right hand side. So taking LCM we get b a minus 6b. Now we know that a, a and b are the co-prime integers so therefore we can have right hand side as a rational only. So this is equal rational. Now under root 2 we know is a irrational number. So it is not possible to have irrational and rational on a same on a right hand side and left hand side respectively. So therefore we can say that our assumption is wrong that this number is not a rational number not a rational number so then at at the end you can write that 6 plus under root 2 is irrational. So that's all for question number 3. Thank you for watching.